Welcome back guys for this tutorial 13. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to try to create an interface, a XAML interface for, um, for Ad student, and also um, see if we can actually do some code for adding the student. So let me open here my, my visual. Here it goes. Let me open the project. Last time we actually saw how we could actually view the students from the database. And now let's start adding them. What I'm, I want to do is pretty much the same as we did in the last tutorial. I did the view student and I asked you to do the view classes. I actually have the view classes here. I don't, I'm not sure if I actually implemented. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do today is just do the add students. See if we have the time to do the add student in this tutorial. And you do the add class, okay? And the code, the code is pretty much, it's pretty equal, so we won't have a problem with that. So go in there. Let's come here to to school to the school project right here, and do an add new item. There you go. Now let's look for WPF. Where are you, Window WPF? Let's call this one add student. Add student. Okay, add. And there you go. That was added right here. Okay, so here I have my CS file, and there's nothing there yet. And here I have my WPF. Now let's go real quick and actually start doing putting stuff here. So one thing that I probably want to do here is just have, uh, okay, on a label. So out of the database, we had first name. Oh, I want to name it right here. Content. So here it's going to be uh, first, first name. Uh, let me copy that over. Put it here. Try to do that quick. We're also going to have a last. last name um, you will have gender so I'll put this here gender and the last one GPA Okay, GPA, let me put that a little nicer here. Don't need that big. Here it goes. Um, just put the color that you want. You already know how to do that. So go ahead and do whatever you want. I had blue for by for the other project. I had this one. Just do whatever. So remember, just come here to background somewhere here. Uh, where are you? Okay, this guy here, you know, just go here, change, put whatever. I'm gonna put a weird color here. Oh, actually, that's not what I want to change. Let me go back. Uh, I want to change the background for the the window. So, um, something like this. Okay, just do whatever color you want. Now we have to drop some text box here. So let's go back there. Uh, where is it? The, the text box. Okay, put it there. This will be for the first name. This other one's gonna be for the last name. For the GP, I want I'm gonna, I want to have one as well. Oh. But for the GP, I. I I don't need a big one. Oh, come on. So that one I'm going to put pretty sh shrink. Now, for male and female, or for gender, I want a male and female. So I could do, put like a text, text box, here, box here, or just put a radio button right here. Let me put this here. And... Um,
And how about if I put actually now a label here and right here mail right, let me create another button not button another uh, ready button no copy the wrong control c control v the button is right there I'm gonna put this one with female option so I'm just doing Ctrl C, Ctrl V, just as you would do for copy and paste. And this one is not going to be male, but rather female. Okay, so uh, the person is going to have to put the first name, the last name, the gender, male or female, and a GPA, right? So if we actually okay, I haven't I haven't linked this to the main window yet. So let's go ahead and do that. And how are we gonna do this? Is just let's come back here to main window and let me open the C. Uh, um, well, let me uh, yeah, I will need this one first. So here, this is right here at the menu. It's a sub item of the menu, so I cannot see it. Or if I click here, I won't be that won't do it automatically for me. So I have to come here, right here, to add student and do click. Now, new. Uh, let me change that. Let me change that to. Well, I can leave this one, but just add student. Okay, so now let's go to the CS for the main window. That probably created the 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 click. I'm gonna have to make sure I change it right here. So now I'm gonna put add student, right? And how I'm gonna I'm gonna make that to pop up whenever I want to. I'm just gonna create an instance of that object of the add student. So I have here add add student which is the name that I give to the object and let me give the name to of this uh, give a variable name student equals to new add student okay now if I do a student uh, dot show dialog whenever I I go ahead and run the program let's see what's gonna happen let me run the program here uh, we got some errors Let me run here and see if that's gonna show up something. Oh, well, actually, okay. Let's see what the problem is. So he's telling me that does not contain definition for menu add student. So he's actually saying, oh, let's go back here to the demo. Oh, okay, here I have menu, and over there I have menu item. You see that? So it's just an error I had here. I, whenever I try to delete and add numbers, uh, add something. So let me actually. It doesn't matter where you delete. I, I want to keep it. Oh, I want to keep it uh, standard. So I'm just gonna here live. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put here menu item um, instead of changing the CS file. So okay, menu item. Let's try to run again. See. All right, there you go. Add student, and there it is. I have uh, whatever I create now. So yeah, now we're gonna have to to add the to to see how we're gonna do to add those guys in the database. So let's do that. <laughs> 